Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to get share files from default system iOS and Android share functionality. So in the end of this video we will be able to do something like this. Pick some for example PDF file, press share, here our React Native application and here we can use this file data inside our app. And same for the Android. Like we can pick some images, press share, select our React Native application and get this file's data inside the app. So let's start. Okay, here I have fresh React Native application with some template code which just show our files we will get in the end of this tutorial. And let's start with React Native Receive Sharing Intent library. We need to install it first. I'm using yarn. So just yarn app. And this is what we will use on the our JavaScript side. But let's first do native side stuff. Let's go to the Android section. Uh, basically, I like to do all the settings related to the native site in the native IDs for Android is Android Studio and you will see why. So here's our Android manifest file. What we need at here is permissions for external storage. So let's edit. Also while using I found out that also write external storage is required. So also add this permission. Launch mode is single task required for our activity. Sorry, not for application, but okay, it's actually already there. So we can skip this step. And now there is different options like for URLs. If you want to share text, uh, I basically want to focus in this tutorial in for images, videos, and some files. So let's copy this configuration where, and place it inside our activity. Basically, we have action send and action send multiple for images. We also can add data video for these actions or we can add any but maybe let's try some specific one for example uh, application pdf so our app will be able to receive pdfs mime type and last step in our inside our main activity We need to add following new intent method override. So it's probably already there. Let's check. No, I can find it here. So we can add it. And it should be inside our main activity class. So let's check. Yeah, it closes here. So this is the good place. And here you see some errors. And that's why I like to use Android Studio. Basically, tells you something wrong and we need to import this intent so we can do it just like this and it will add import here looks good looks like everything set up for Android and we can back to our JavaScript code so let's copy it and what I want to do to place this logic inside our custom hook use get share so let's create src directory and file use get share get six something like this and inside use effect I would like to place 
this actual logic. Um, we also need to use state, probably react. Let's have yeah files like this, maybe undefine it and we can return files. I'm using TypeScript so let's also create share file type. Um, I basically will use this comment from the documentation. It's probably what we will have and just convert it to optional strings. So on get receive files I will set files in my state. Uh, here the share media parameter but it's used for iOS. We will back to it later. Now we can back to our aptx file and actually uncommented predefined code. Basically what we do once we get some files from useGetShare, we will render all all fields of our file object. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So let's try to run it and you see our build is failed let's quickly take a look at the error what happened here okay basically what, what happened here is something points to the wrong version of the Kotlin and let me show you how to fix this error if we go to the, our uh, React Native Receive Share Intent module inside Node Modules and Android directory, you will see it use Kotlin version specified in the root project. So probably we just need to specify what we would like to use. So I think here we need to specify version and I think we can just find Kotlin. No, sorry. Okay, yeah, here this version used in our app. So let's set it in our root configuration of the build script text. And I think this time it should work. And we have another error, so yeah, I think I just wrote it differently last time. This was something like this. And now it works, so it shows us no files because we didn't share anything yet. So let's go, for example, in our photos. This is pictures I made with emulator fake camera functionality. So let's select maybe all three and press share button. And you see our app is now available in the share list because we specify it inside Android manifest. And you see we, there is details of our files. There's file name, they're different. There is mime type, image JPEG. There is file path to the actual file so we can uh, draw an image or send the file somewhere, something like this. So I think that's it for Android. Let's continue with iOS. And yeah, same here. I would like to do it inside Xcode because it will be easier. And first step is inside our info please file here it is you see it's presented in some formatted way but we also can open a source code 
and add here what we need. First of all, we might have already specified this key, so let's check first if it's there. No, it's not there, so let's just copy K, tag, and its value array. And it should be inside the main dict. So main dict finished here. Let's place this like this. And now we can back to property list view, and you see there is added URL types and URL schemas. This is URL schema which will uh, open our application, and it should be something unique to our app. Let me just use maybe my name for just to show usually it's something like your name your domain or combination of it i mean app name not your personal name let's see it like this and next we also need to add code to the app delegate let's copy this function go to the app delegate maybe right after this first uh, function and you see is usually Xcode show you that something is missing here if you back we also need to import the RCT linking manager let's do this and now it's fine good uh, this step is optional if you want to use links. Uh, this is not part of our tutorial, so I just skip it. And this is next step. We need to create share extension in our Xcode. Let's go to file, new target and create choose share extension. Okay, let's do this. File, new target look for share yeah, share extension let's name it the same as our project name and add share in the end yes please activate and you see there is new directory with share view controller interface and info list now we need edit this info list so Let's open it as a source code. You see inside the extension attributes here we have a dict. And what inside this dict? We just copy it. Yeah, basically, if you read, there is uh, support for video, for images, uh, also amount of uh, files you can pick so what I'm interested in images movies and files web URLs and text support I maybe drop since I'm not going to use it in this tutorial now we need to modify our share view control there is a big source code we can just copy it, go to share view control, select everything and paste all the code. Now, I think it was mentioned somewhere, but basically it says you need to set your extension same version as your target. So it's 12.4. Let's do this. And here we need to modify this uh, value and this is our bundle we can copy it from the bundle identifier of our application target and share protocol this is what we put inside our info please url schema so just copy it and replace here and remember we also have it inside our javascript part and here is the protocol we need to import he it here as well 
And yeah, last step, we also need to create up group. So here in sign and capabilities, we can press plus sign, search for group, up group, add a new, and let's use my personal team. And group, I think maybe same as our bundle, but with group prefix. Okay, now I have up group and we need to add our share extension to this group. So doing same, searching for up groups, add um, basically you see there is already group, we just need to select it. Okay. I think this is it for iOS. Let's try to start our application. Oh, sorry. I think I forgot to run pod install command. So let's do this first. Yeah, return disk. Okay, our pods installed and now we can actually build our application. Okay, it's running and let's try to share something. Let's go to files. Here already PDF file opened. We can press share. You see system as share sheet and we can select our application here and it pass to our application data. You see file pass, mime type, file name, extension. You see it's slightly different you know, from the Android, so you probably will need to adjust it for your application needs. But anyway, let's also try maybe some images, share, maybe select multiple ones and select our application. And you see it works as we wanted. That's it. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, leave your comments, ask me questions. This will support my channel and me personally. So let's see you in the new videos.